Hi there folks, it's me, Bevan Platt with you of the Tinkerbot Games. This is my Tinker Vlog. I can't remember what episode it is and I'm very, very sorry for the lateness of this one. Um, it's just been an absolutely crazy couple of months. Um, and again, this episode's going to be incredibly short. It's just me trying to get back into the swing of it, back into a good schedule. And I'll just very quickly kind of just go over what I've been up to recently in those two months that I've been completely away. So probably the biggest thing is that Bubbles... Uh, we launched the Kickstarter, unfortunately it didn't get the traction we were hoping for initially, so we've gone ahead and we've taken that back down and we've now retooled it. As you can see we've got a sexy new box for it that we've come up with and then a, a nice new rules leaflet to kind of show off which will be available on the website. But again, in the next episode I'll go into a bit more on that one. So that was something I've been up to for the last couple of months. That took quite a while actually because I'm not a graphic designer. Um, I just kind of took what we already had and made it into something we could present to reviewers and such like. Excuse me. Um, also, it's UK Games Expo coming up very, very soon, and for this year, I thought I'd give my hand, uh, put my hand in the ring of the, you know, the speed dating and trying to get a, an outside publisher because we've got a few games in our stables that don't seem to fit the Tinkerbot games, uh, like ethos of family light affairs that you know have a little bit of thinkiness but are mostly for their for families to play um games and uh, essentially i've been writing tool uh, lots of rule books but sell sheets which is something i've never actually done before i've never made a sell sheet before um so i've been doing lots of different things like here tinkerbots that's going to be one of our new games is that that dice game i was talking about spoonicorns has gone through a lot of drafts and such like so this is the dice game version there's also a card game version which i'm very excited about and i think i did another rule book for haunter culture that's there um, and there was a fourth one. Oh, golems. So I've managed to dig out my old prototype of golems, which I haven't touched since the last UK Games Expo. Write a rule book, write a sell sheet, and I've sent that into the, the speed dating as well. And I'm hoping that that will get some traction with some of the, sort of the Euro games, because that's a typical example of one of the heavier games that I've come up with that I'm not sure will fit into the Tinkerbots line. But we'll see. We'll see how we get on in the future. Maybe we'll rebrand ourselves as the game as the games company that can cover more than more than one angle. You know. Um, so those are the big things. Those have taken weeks, actually, because there's lots of, like, well, I don't know, about the rule books and kind of things. Um, we're sort of making up different icons and tokens and then rearranging them. Uh, that's taken me forever as well. Um, I had a car accident. <laughs> that was quite an interesting in, in, uh, encounter. Uh, fortunately, it was the other person's fault and nobody was hurt, so it's all okay. Um, yeah, so I had to go out car hunting and finding things and everything. How stressful that can be because you never know if you've made the right choice. But I've got a lovely little Hyundai iX20 now. It's about five years old, so it's it's you know been around the block a few times. But it's a lovely little runner. Uh, just working out a few niggles and kinks on that to get that sorted as well. Um, yeah. So those are the main things. Oh, I've also become a judge again this year for the Boston Fig, so I've got to work my way through some of those. So that's a lovely opportunity to sort of see what other designers are up to and give my critique on theirs, see if I've still got, you know, the, the chops, as it were, as a designer, <laughs> to see, you know, if my opinion is valid and my opinion matters. Um, hopefully it does. Thanks very much for that, Tim. Um, yep, so there's that. What else have we been doing? Oh, producing lots of copies of Bubbles as well to send out to reviewers and such like. And rebuilding that Kickstarter, as I said, but obviously I'll go through that. Uh, and the last thing I want to talk about is, you've probably seen it in all the videos so far, is this lovely table that I'm working on here. This is my desk. This is where I do a lot of my work and design work. Um, but it may not be obvious that this is actually one of the prototypes for a new venture that we've gotten into called Tinker Tables. So um, a, a couple of good friends of ours, Tom and Kim, I was calling Kim and Tom for some reason, or Kim, Tom, Tom, Kim. I always get them mixed up. Tom and Kim, uh, lovely pair. They they've uh, they've come up with a uh, sorry. They built themselves a gaming table, and he enjoyed it so much that he decided he wanted to try his hand at maybe producing a few more. Um, this is one of the early prototypes that they came up with, and it's still lovely. So what I'll be doing in one of the videos is sort of presenting that to you as well, because that's another venture that we're going into um, for UK Games Expo, especially. We're going to look at producing these tables um, at a professional level, I don't know how you'd call that, so when you start manufacturing them and selling them to people, rather than just making them for your friends and family. Um, so yeah, lots to go on. So the next few episodes, we'll go through the tables, we'll go through those games I was telling you about, we'll go through the bubbles revamp and the new cards, the new box. 
and yeah, just try and get myself back into the swing of this, doing it every week, because I really enjoyed doing it, but it just, it, it, something had to fall to the wayside because of like, you know, every, all my other commitments. I mean, outside of that, there's also still like the family and the house and everything that I need to keep an eye on, uh, with lots of bank holidays and things coming up as well. So yeah, it's been pretty hectic, but hopefully I'm still bearing up under the weight of it all. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, and hopefully I'll get back to it very quickly for next week. Cheers, guys. Bye.